The Cat Island chain was an important natural habitat in Green Bay that basically vanished in the 70s due to erosion. Thanks to 40 years of hard work on the local and national levels, including funding from a UWC grant housed here at UW-Madison, these islands are once again teeming with wildlife. Lower Green Bay has always been uh, very shallow and highly productive. There are a lot of nutrients washing into the bay and that uh, provides habitat and food for fish and for birds. The Cat Island Shoals were a series of marshy low islands that sheltered the southwestern corner of Green Bay from storms and, and winds, which allowed a lot of vegetation to grow. There were some serious ice shoves that occurred where ice was pushed over the top of the shoals and took out the trees, took out the vegetation. So a lot of damage was done and, and much of the habitat was lost in Southern Green Bay. We had a, a program that had started in the mid 70s um, by the University of Wisconsin Sea Grant Institute to do research on Green Bay specifically. So that's where the idea for restoring the islands was generated. I graduated from UW-Madison with a degree in conservation biology and sustainable development in 2009. And that led me to a job with the University of Wisconsin Sea Grant Institute in 2013. The Cat Island Restoration Project is really a story about partnership. And not only are we getting um, habitat and wildlife benefits, but the Port of Green Bay and the U.S. Army Corps are a really critical part of this story, too. Every year at the Port of Green Bay, uh, the shipping channel has to be dredged so the ships can come in. And so uh, that dredge material typically costs a lot of money to remove and then also be disposed of. They're dredging from the outer shipping channel clean dredge materials and placing them in the island cells to create these islands. And that's saving the port a lot of money on disposal fees that they would typically have to incur. The base of the islands extends 2.5 miles into the, into the bay. And uh, when they're filled with beneficial reuse of dredge materials, uh, they'll provide over 240 acres of island habitat, and then also they'll protect about 1,400 acres of wetland habitat behind the islands from storms and wave events. There's well over 30 species of shorebirds that have showed up on the Cat Island area since uh, the first dredge material was put in place. The most important species out there from the federal standpoint is the piping plover. It's federally endangered in the Great Lakes area. There are roughly uh, 70 pairs of birds in the area and uh, the last year we had four of the nesting pairs right here in Cat Island. My degree from UW-Madison was quintessential to my career at this point. Some of the things I really learned was that conservation is really all about people and if, if we really want to have successful conservation projects then we need to work within the communities um, to help bring back the benefits that um, our communities can enjoy. This is an incredible, remarkable restoration project for not just the Great Lakes, but for our country. It demonstrates that a restoration project doesn't only benefit wildlife and fish habitat, uh, but it can also be a really big win-win for the economy. It also just is an incredible opportunity to showcase that Green Bay's ecological gem for, for the Great Lakes.